All right, guys, so we're here at Buford National Cemetery. It is a memorial cemetery. There are guys in here from all the way from the Revolutionary War to the more recent wars. So there's everybody in here. What I like about it the most is that it's so well kept. And we're gonna go down this line here of palm trees and visit this obelisk, which is supposed to have all kinds of, you know, cool um, dedications and things like that to it. This is just this is just a sample of what it's gonna look like as we go down the way here. Beautiful place, beautiful place, very sobering. I think that's like the welcome center where if you know someone is buried here, there's they have like they have a grave finder. And it is right off the road. So you're not out in the middle of nowhere or anything, you're right in Beaufort. So we're away we go down to the obelisk. So that's where we were guys, down there. And so I'm gonna turn this around here. You can see like they have just just these lovely trees in here. It's all covered with this gray moss. And here's the obelisk. So we're going to come down here that says immortality to the hundreds of the defenders of American freedom against the Great Rebellion. The place, guys, is just, it's beautiful for a graveyard. Very well kept, which I am very happy about. And just look at these trees. Wow. Very sobering, too, to think that all of these people fought and died for this country that they love. You know, came together. Black, white, men, women, it didn't matter. And they all got together and fought under the flag of the United States of America. That's very sobering and it, it really chokes me up. So, we're gonna go and walk on to the other part. So one of the things we're really enjoying is these messages at the bottom. You know, usually they have something, you know, together again, loved by all. This is, I did it my way. My husband's noticing a lot of that. This guy over here, right? I'm gonna walk you over here. So we think this is kind of funny. So it's sobering, but it, I think it's cool. You get to see like these people, like how they were, some of their characteristics, right? Just from their tombstone. So take a look at this. James Carroll Bias, and, and US Navy, Korea, I'm trying. <laughs> like, <laughs> It's uh, I don't know, one of those things. There's a, there's a guy over here where it says gone golfing. So he must have enjoyed golfing or something. Oh look, they got some on the back too. They've got like resting in peace, a great grandmother, loving wife, husband. Where's the gone? Blessed husband and dad, together again. Loving memory, let's see. And we've got Oh no, where is he? Here he is, okay. I found him, gone golfing. Tommy, Mr. Tommy, apparently loved the golf because now he's gone golfing. <laughs> I just love stuff like this. Cause I love to see like, you know, these are normal everyday people, guys. Well, I, I think you should notice too, Vietnam, Vietnam, World War II, World War II. We got some Korea over here, Korea. We're gonna try and find, let's see, what's this guy? Vietnam, World War II, World War II, Korea, and Vietnam, and the Marines right here, Anthony J. J. Beatrice right there. And then we will also notice this, like their religious stuff is here. So here's a Jew, Christian, and then they have the, the flag and the cross. I think that's uh, Mormons, Seventh-day Adventists, something like that, Presbyterian. Just different. I just love it. They they did a good job of putting little touches to let you see who these people were. <laughs> 